How's it going everybody? Mike Monster Burger Hawk here and I'm going to show you the hourglass. Um, it exploits the principle of the X and if you have uh, watched any of my videos, um, especially the bread and butters or any of my pail videos, you notice that I never, I try not to approach my pail like this, do all my fighting and retreat. Like I, I occasionally retreat out back and that's because right now I'm trying to ingrain the hourglass and angles back into my style. Um, a very long time ago, uh, I was phenomenal with the with the angles footwork. Like it was a part of how I walked. It was a part of how I did everything. Retreating, attacking, always in angles like this, always. Not so much this. Boom, 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 this. Now over the years I've watched a lot, a lot of individual pale uh, videos. And uh, here's a couple things that I have seen a lot of people do that you should probably just X completely out of your routine. Um, watching people walk up, plant themselves straight in front of the pail and throw blows. That's, that's no blame. All right? Um, the other thing that I see people do in paling episodes is just kind of throwing blows, kind of moving around their pail. Also, no bueno. Now let me explain um, how the principle of the X works both with your sword and with your footwork because if they marry together, um, you're fighting just <laughs> right through the roof uh, and it's no joke. So the principle of the X states, if I fire here, this is gonna be my bread. I've made a bread and butter video and, and how you can actually create your own bread and butters. But if you're firing here, what happens if they don't retreat, they plant, what they generally try to do is they try to turn and rotate at this angle that you're presenting to them. All right? Now, a person is not going to turn and rotate at the angle that you want them to if you approach them straight. They just brace and their defense is strong on both sides. So the hourglass drill, what it teaches you, and it teaches you to start way out here. This is where my tape starts. Literally two and a half, close to three times out of range. And what you're wanting to ingrain is approaching your opponents at these angles like this. Not so much walking straight to them, <laughs> all right? What I'm doing is, is I'm, I'm painting a picture for my opponent. I'm painting a picture of I want your right side, that's what I want. Right now, this is the picture that it paints. You're seeing me attempting to make a right side, right side pass. And that picture just gets clearer and clearer the closer I get to you. The closer I get to you, especially once I cross measure right here. Once I cross that line, it's extremely like, they want to stop, they want to meet this angle, they want to keep thinking in straight lines, I'm gonna let them think in straight lines, that's what I want. So I start painting my pictures way, way up here, lay on distance. And I don't just walk straight for them, I walk at an angle. <laughs> and if you also notice, I'm walking, all right? The same way I walk every single day of my life. I'm not doing this, And I'm not doing it the other way. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing that. All that does is it paints a picture for your opponent. Okay. That person can only go that direction. That's what that tells them. When you're when you're coming, if you if you're a right-handed fighter and you are leading with shield leg, you are telling your opponent, that's what I can do. If you're gonna be leading with sword leg, you're telling your opponent, that's the easy step that you can do. All experienced fighters will recognize that. So this is why I always teach, just walk how you walk, seriously. Walk how you walk, do not, don't pick a foot forward until you get to the line to measure. Like you know what you're gonna do in your head, you're painting this picture of a left-handed line to your opponent. Notice how when I get there at measure, 
my right foot is forward so I can make that step really easy. Now, it doesn't just stop there, all right? <laughs> I'm approaching my opponent at this left angle. Now we're gonna start talking about marrying the principle of the X with your sword as well as with your footwork. Because after all, an hourglass is just another X with just bottom and top attached to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my beautiful picture if I am like so trying to kill you over here. This is my bread if you've seen bread and butters, my bread and butter videos. I'm painting that huge picture that I want you to believe all the way out here. <laughs> and if you start to rotate and do that kind of stuff, well, I'm still doing it. I'm just matching your angle, but I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to tell you that I'm going left. That's what I want you to know. That's what I want you to believe in that moment, is that I am going left. <laughs> so what did I do? I didn't paint a picture of a straight line, which doesn't get my opponent to plant and rotate because they don't have to. I'm, I'm moving in straight lines. Start approaching your opponents at angles, and they start to see danger. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. So what do they do? They plant, they rotate, their defense lies down here to block this shot, and then it's a step across the hourglass. So you get to here, and then it's a step across. My foot is right there. And I'm gonna tell you right now, once you start training this, now it is not gonna happen overnight. Like you're gonna be practicing on your pail like this all day long. And it could be for months that you are literally practicing these angles over and over. And you're gonna go out there and try to practice, and you're gonna be, oh wait a second, I'm approaching the straight line. All right, let me do this. So there's gonna come a time where you're gonna think about it constantly. Think, think, think. <laughs> Whenever you see yourself approaching this way, go, oh yeah, that's right. Let me walk normal. Let me walk like a normal person until I get to the line of measure. And then I'm either going this way, or I'm going this way. And here's the other thing about the hourglass. You're not always constrained to these long straight lines. You can as well paint that beautiful left-handed angle. And especially if you approach this line, the line of measure, with a little bit of speed. So if you, you start to do that, <laughs> your opponent is going to think you're going to keep going that way, just like that. You're, you're painting the picture that that's what you're doing. But instead, you cut across to this side. Now you can mix this up a lot. You could be doing this. Or you could start that exact same line and look exactly the same, except for you come across the other way. And I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm not kidding you, once you marry your sword arm, your subconscious, and your feet, you teach all three of them the principle of the X, you are gonna be successful. You just keep training and training. It doesn't matter um, how long it takes. I mean, everybody wants instant gratification. I will tell you after years and years and years of training, generally it takes a couple months. <laughs> Um, it takes about 21 days to become a habit. It takes a little bit longer than that to bury it into your subconscious to where suddenly you went 40 some years of your life just walking around like this, thinking, okay, there's my target. There's my glass of water. I go pick that up and drink it. Suddenly, <laughs> After a few months of training an hourglass, at footwork, at angles, um, suddenly you're gonna start approaching targets at these angles. And you're gonna be doing these sliding across things. You're gonna be sitting there going, okay, I'm painting my picture. My opponent thinks I'm going right. Oh, they just planted. They're starting to race me to that angle. It's gonna be so natural to you. And that's where I'm at right now. So like, uh, Years ago, I picked up center boss. 
Um, and what happened to me over time, and it was gradual, 100% under my control and 100% my fault, all right? I picked up the center boss. Um, I practiced a lot of defense. Like right now I'm practicing uh, my shield defense as well. But I practiced a lot of defense. I practiced a lot of sword blocking four part drills, a lot. Hundreds of, <laughs> over 100,000 times, no kidding. Um, but what happened was, as I started training so stationary, like even if it was the end result, training, because I do end result training as well, I started doing so much stationary uh, training, so much four point uh, drill training stationary that I lost, I lost in my subconscious the, just the natural ability to approach people um, and retreat. I don't think linearly, but it's not, it's not a habit anymore. So I'm trying to reform that habit. Um, and it's been a little bit over a couple months now. It's starting to come back um, soon. I'm hoping by June, I'm hoping um, that I will have it embedded back into my mind again. And that's just the way I think and feel from that moment on. I don't think and feel so much in straight lines. My body just does, does these angles constantly. Um, and these angles constantly. As I like, I like using the outside of the hourglass as well as the inside of the hourglass. And when they both come together, the principle of the ax is exceptionally deadly, especially when you're teaching yourself what to look for. As I'm approaching, I'm wanting to catch my opponent either on a step or they've got that leg out there, <laughs> you know, the off leg. And if I'm gonna get the off leg, in most cases, I'm not just going to straight fire for it. In most cases, it's going to be a bread and butter type combination. And it all starts with the happy little painting that I'm making of this right-handed angle movement. And it's really important that you start to paint these pictures um, well out of range. Because you want your opponent to believe one thing. And then you want to do the exact opposite. Um, the art of war definitely teaches, and this is something I teach a lot. Um, show your opponent's strength, and when they react, because they have to or die, you attach their weakness. That's what bread and butter is all about. And if you can marry that with the X on the ground and the thought process of, okay, I know if I fire here, I know 100% certain they have to slightly turn, they have to slightly rotate, their defense moves down here. That creates an opening. That creates an opening. And those openings are only heightened and exaggerated when you add these angles, these angles footwork. Because they do have to plant, they do have to rotate. They want to meet you, they really do. And as they're meeting you, you slide across the other side. Now, I highly recommend, if you can, um, tape an hourglass on the ground, all right? If you cannot tape an hourglass on the ground, well, you can still walk at an angle opposed to your pail. You can still, you can still do those things without a visual cue. I like the visual cue because it helps. I've got it all mapped down to these are two half steps or one, one full step. That's how I make my hourglass. If you're going to make yours, um, pretty much most everyone's will be different. It's just what it is, is it's one full step or two half steps to get there. That's how you create it. And it's a 45 degree angle. So they're really super easy to make. And I generally put a pyramid at the tip. And the tip is also a full, foot, a full step away. So this is actually a little bit too close. But yeah. So if you want to make yourself an hourglass, highly recommend it. It's gonna do nothing but help you. Absolutely will do nothing but help you. And if you want, and this is what I did, is I just did this a lot. Just approaching and retreating your opponent using angles. I cannot believe, I cannot explain to you how powerful this is, even the outside. Don't forget about using the outside. The outside is also tough. 
So I hope this helped. And if it did, create your own drills on the pail using the hourglass. Um, practice a pr approaching and retreating. Um, you, can you can practice from the edge measure, which I do a lot. You can practice both sides. But don't forget to practice extreme range because the more information you can feed to your opponent that you want them to believe, the better. And it all starts out here, it really does. So I hope this helped. Go ahead and uh, slap down a, an hourglass on your floor. If you can't, seriously, uh, visualize approaching your pail at angles. Try not to be the person that approaches straight on. Are they trained stationary? Or are they just walk around their field in it like this? Because that doesn't uh, that doesn't do much for you, honestly. But teaching yourself how to manipulate people with footwork will help you. And that's what the hourglass is for. It's there to help you learn how to walk in angles and think in angles, as well as to teach you the principle of the X, which is exceptionally important. Um, once you grasp that. Um, your fighting literally <laughs> goes through the roof because every shot that you throw is designed to manipulate and set up the next. So I hope this helped. If it did, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.